all right, I'm still talking about farmed salmon. <laughs> I'm starting to drool because I also want you to know about the best taste in salmon that's supposed to come to Puget Sound in two weeks. In the Seattle area, the best taste in salmon in the whole wide world is going to arrive here in Seattle. It's the salmon. Maybe you've heard about it. Maybe you've eaten it. It's the Copper River salmon. Oh, the Copper River salmon. It tastes so, so good. Why does the Copper River salmon taste so good? Well, it's the salmon that's right now just about ready to go up this uh, river called the Copper River. And before a salmon goes up a river, it just eats as much as it can to get it energy so it can go up the whole river. Right at the mouth of the Copper River salmon is this super oily shrimp. And they're going around right now, and they're just eating this super oily shrimp. And that oil, it accumulates in their body tissue. Oil is fat. And the best tasting stuff in the whole wide world is fat. So that's why the Copper River salmon tastes so good. In fact, if you look at the Copper River salmon, because they eat this oily shrimp, oh, it's like, it's like this combination of like a reddish pink. It's just this beautiful color because they're eating the shrimp. Okay, now let me go back to your salmon. Your salmon, because they eat soybeans and corn, what does it look like? Well, the meat gets the color of what they eat. So if you're eating a corn, soybean, fish guts mixture, it's going to look like brownish gray in the middle. That's not so sexy. You're not going to be able to sell your salmon. So what they have is they have this. Uh, they have salmonal fan. And salmonal fan, smart board. Smart board. Salmonal fan is this. It's a dye that, uh, that uh, fish farms use. Uh, it comes in a whole bunch of different colors. This is salmonal fan number 21. It's like, a, it's like a light pink. And then if you wanted a salmonal fan number 28, it's kind of like a pinkish uh, orange. And then if you got to the 31s or 34s, now it's turning into red. So you ask your customer, QFC, hey, what color do you want your salmon? Oh, we'll take a 34 this time. The customers really liked it. So I want you to know that, uh, that farm salmon are fed a coarse soybean mixture. So then their muscle, their meat, is kind of like brownish gray in color. So then it's dyed in a specific color so that it becomes more appealing. Next, what type of salmon are you going to have on your farm? Well, you need a salmon that's going to grow real fast. You need a salmon that's going to grow really fast and is pretty big. I got it. There's the Atlantic salmon. Atlantic salmon are from the Atlantic Ocean. And this one type of Atlantic salmon, it only takes three years to get this big. Oh. Whereas the Pacific salmon that we have here, it takes like four to five years for it to get this big. So if you could just get it like this big in three years, that's the one you're going to raise in your farm. Not only that, they messed around with the genetics. They genetically modified it, so now it makes three times as much growth hormone. Smart board work for me. These salmon right here are both Atlantic salmon. They're the same age Atlantic salmon. This Atlantic salmon is genetically modified, and this one's not. So by getting genetically modified, it could grow to be this big in about 18 months. So that's the type of salmon that they have on, uh, in the salmon farms. These salmon farms are here in the Puget Sound. Come on, smart board. Right here's Seattle. Right here's Bainbridge Island. If you go into Bainbridge Island, Come on, Bainbridge Island, get bigger for me. Come on, Bainbridge Island, focus. Bainbridge, are you focusing? Bainbridge, there you are. Right here. I see a whole bunch of little squares right there. And what those are, are those are the, the salmon farm nets. So it's really close to Puget Sound. So if you're a restaurant owner in the Puget Sound, you could get your farm salmon from right here. If you could QSC, you could get your fresh farm salmon from right here. How do you know if you're a consumer, if you're getting farm salmon or not? It's not too sexy to call it farm salmon. You got to give it a different name. So most commonly, it's just called the Atlantic salmon. Oh, I'm just eating Atlantic salmon. Well, Atlantic salmon belong in the Atlantic Ocean.
So if you're buying an Atlantic salmon, that means it was raised on a farm here in the Puget Sound. If you want to catch a wild, eat a wild salmon, then you got to look for one that's called uh, wild caught uh, salmon or coho salmon or chinook salmon or pink salmon. Those are the salmon that are out there wild swimming around that you're going to pay a fisherman to go out there and get. All right, we cranked it up to a high school level. What we learned is how do you raise a salmon, uh, a farmer salmon? You get a big net in the Puget Sound and put 200,000 salmon in it. Where are you going to feed it? You're going to feed it a combination of corn and soybean and fish guts. Because you feed that, you're going to have to be able to dye them. So you dye it with this stuff called salmonal fan. I told you the story about the Copper River salmon. I want you to know why the Copper River salmon tastes so good. Last, I want you to know what type of salmon is raised on the farm. Atlantic salmon. Good. Now, going back on our notes. Um, I want you to know about the five types of salmon that are here in the Puget Sound, here in the Pacific Northwest. Uh, I want you to know the nickname for each, uh, and then uh, a little something about each one. The first one is called the Chinook. The Chinook uh, has a nickname as the King. My God, that's the bell, you remember that? Good old days. The Chinook salmon is called the king because it's the biggest salmon. The next is the coho. The coho has a nickname, silver. See, salmon are counter shaded, dark on the top, light on the belly. And normally what they have is they have a whole bunch of black dots on, the, on their back also. But the coho, it does not have these black dots. That's how it gets its nickname, the silver. Three, the pink. The pink salmon, <laughs> it's called the humpy. Why is it called the humpy? Smart board, work for me. Well, it's called the humpy because when they start to go up the fresh water, when it goes up the river, all of a sudden their body changes. And what they get is they get a ginormous hump on their back. And that's how it gets its name, the humpy. The next one is the sockeye. The sockeye's nickname is the red. Uh, how's it get its nickname, the red? Well, like the pink salmon, when they go up the uh, fresh water, their body changes. And what happens is that all of a sudden their body, it turns red. The skin will turn red. And that's how they get their nickname, the red. The last one is called the chum, chum salmon. The chum salmon. The chum salmon has the nickname as the dog. <laughs> Why does it get the nickname the dog? Because like a dog, it has huge canine teeth. Well, there you go. Uh, that's video number two. Now we're cranking it up to a high school level. We're going to go on to video number three, talking about threats to salmon and how to save our salmon.